Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. Live and direct, live in effect. Make sure you subscribe to find out what's next. You already know the time it is we here. All right, so something hit me a couple days ago, and I've been wanting to talk about it. So for the first time in five years, the Slammy Awards are back. Um, I don't know why this is a topic I want to talk about, but it's actually interesting because I didn't know it's been five years since they had the Slammys. And I remember that year because... That year, they that was the last time it was. If that was the last time it was there, I mean, that was the last time it was televised. Um, and I remember that year. Um, Dolph Ziggler won Breakout Superstar of the Year when it technically should have been Kevin Owens. Um, and Roman Reigns was Superstar of the Year. I remember that because he should not have won that that year. He should not have won that that year. But that's in the past. We're here now. <laughs> All right, so. I want to go through the um, the nominees, not um, the categories and the nominees, and who I think should take home the uh, the award. Um, only thing is, it won't be on TV. It'll actually be on the w, It'll be on WWE Network, no WWE.com, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, I think it's December. December something. Uh, they tell me December twenty third. So next. Not next week. The week after next. Week after next? Yeah, the week after next. All right, so let me go through what they have. All right, so <clears throat> they have moment of the year. Uh, the categories, the nominees are uh, The Undertaker's Final Farewell at Survivor Series. Uh, Drew McIntyre beating Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Uh, Becky Lynch announcing her pregnancy on Raw at May, on May 11th. The, the night after Money in the Bank. Uh, Edge returned at the Rumble. Uh, the New Day's final or farewell address on SmackDown in October. Uh, Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman uniting on SmackDown in August. Uh, Bailey betraying Sasha in September. And the New Day gets drafted to different brands in, on the Raw in October. Uh, the night one of the draft. All right, for moment of the year, honestly... I don't think nothing beats Edge returning at, at at the Royal Rumble. The reaction, the moment, yo, know, it's like everything was just perfect. That moment was just perfect. I don't think nothing beats that. Um, I think a hard second is the Undertaker's final farewell. Um, I think that one's like, I mean, so far. It pretty much seems like this is the last time we're, we we really saw The Undertaker. Like, I don't think we're ever going to see him again. So, if it stays to that, then I think it should do that. But at a moment of the year, I think nothing beats Edge. Edge's, Edge's return at the Rumble was... Whew, whew, you just get chills just thinking about it. This here is theme. The crowd goes ballistic. Man. So I think Edge will turn out the wrong should win moment of the year. All right, then we got a male superstar of the year. We got Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Braun Strowman, and The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. <sighs> Drew's winning this. <laughs> Are we talking male superstar? Who better than Drew McIntyre? Drew McIntyre's been on fire this whole year. Only lost twice this... No, only lost once. Only got pinned... He lost, I'm, I'm talking singles match-wise, not tag team matches, but he's only lost once this year. Take that to an understanding. Drew's been on fire. I'm picking Drew from Man Superstar of the Year. A hard second is Roman Reigns, because Roman Reigns this year has been, whoo, whoo, Roman Reigns this year? Oh, my God. This tribal chief, head of the table, it's a beautiful thing, man. I'm tough. I, I still stick to my laurels at that being one of the best moments. Best things that happened in ten years. I still I still say that. But um, male superstar of the year, Drew McIntyre. There's 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 no there's no other person to win that, but Drew McIntyre. So I'm picking Drew to win male superstar of the year. Uh, female superstar of the year. Let's see: Oscar, Sasha Banks, Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte Flair. Female superstar of the year goes to Oscar. Nobody else but Oscar. Oscar's been amazing since the quarantine. Since they since since they pushed since they pushed them 
uh, WWE shows to the uh, Performance Center. Oscar was on fire. Oscar was on fire. She was, whew, she was good. Good won the tag team championships. Um, no, she she walked into twenty twenty as tag team champion. Won after tag team champions, then won the raw uh, the raw women's championship twice. Twice, yeah. Yeah, so I pick Oscar to win superstar, a female superstar of the year. A hard second is Bailey. I think Bailey had a hell of a year this year. She was killing it. She was killing it this year. So I think Bailey is a hard second. So yeah, I pick I pick Oscar for female superstar of the year. Breakout superstar of the year. Okay, so we got uh, Dominic Mysterio, Bianca Belair, Otis, The Street Profits, and Murphy. Um, if they didn't do him dirty this year or the second half of the year, I would actually put Otis on as breakout superstar of the year. I would have, but they did him so dirty. Like that first half of the year, perfect. He won, won his first WrestleMania match, won money in the bank. He was good, but it's not till the second half of the year is when they just. Just cut the rug under him. Lost the money in the bank. Broke up heavy machinery. And now he's getting he's getting he's getting pushed to the performance center again. Because he's overweight. Doing the oldest dirty. Um, but if we're talking breakout star of the year, it's gonna it's gonna have to go to the street profits. I don't see another team that it would uh, not another team. I don't see nobody else I really go to. I mean, Dominic Mysterio really hasn't broken out, so I don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> You're kind of holding Bianca Belair back, but Bianca Belair is building up, so in that sense, she's good. And Murphy is kind of treading waters, so I don't really see nobody else but the Street Profits because they, the they won the Tag Team Championships in January, and ever since then, they've been champions ever since. They've been champions all year. So I picked the Street Profits to... As breakouts of the year. Uh, ring gear of the year. Um, I don't even know if I should really answer this. Because I don't. I don't understand this. But uh, ring gear of the year goes to Charlotte. Sasha. Seth. The New Day. Bianca Belair. Shinsuke Nakamura. And Carmella. I'm not going to go through this. But it is a category. It is a nom It is a category. But. I'm not answering this because I literally have to sit here and think about every things that everybody wore all year. No, I'm not doing that. That's, that's a waste of time. <laughs> that's a waste of time. All right, so return of the year. We got Edge, Ran no, sorry, Edge, Roman Reigns, MVP, Goldberg, and Sami Zayn. Hmm. Again... This goes to Edge. You're not beating Edge's return. Edge's return is one of the greatest returns in the last couple of years. Like, we were told he was not going to wrestle. He can't wrestle anymore. The fact that he defied the odds and came back nine years later, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Edge wins. Edge wins re return of the year. There's no other person that should win that but Edge. I mean, a hard second... A hard second should be Roman Reigns. Actually, the way they characterize at the the way they listed it is exactly how it should go. Edge is number one, Roman's number two, MVP is number three. I would not put Goldberg on this list. Goldberg returning is not a big damn deal. It's, it's not. He just returned, beat the fiend in Saudi Arabia to become Universal Champion, which should not have happened. <laughs> we should not allow that to happen, but it did. And then he loses to Braun Strowman at WrestleMania because he was actually supposed to lose to Roman Reigns. So, in that regard, <laughs> but in return of the year goes to Edge. I said a hard second goes to Roman because when he came back, he turned full heel and his best thing that ever happened in the last 10 years. But Edge's return of the year. Edge has one, Edge has one of the greatest returns of the year of, in years. No, Edge. Edge wins return of the year. A tag team of the year. The Golden Role Models, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, The New Day, The Street Profits, Shinsuke Nakamura, Cesaro. 
First off, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler have only been a tag team for, what, a couple months? Actually, they've only been tag team since, what, September? No, August or September. They've only been a tag team for a couple months. All these other teams have been teams for a long time. Even the Golden Romans, Sasha and Bailey were a team for a minute. They've been a team since last year. So why? So why? Why would you put them in this category? <laughs> no. I think Tag Team of the Year goes to Street Profits again. I mean, granted, the New Day have won more titles this year. They've won. They came in. I think no. They came into the year. I think as champ. Yeah, they came into the year as champions. Lost that. Uh, won it back two weeks after WrestleMania. Uh, then lost them again. Then won them back. So they've only been champions twice. They only won the titles twice this year. Knew they have had more success. Well, no, I lied. The Street Profits have more success. They barely lost as a tag team this year. So Street Profits win tag team of the year. The New Day are second. I put the New Day second. Golden Role Miles third. Uh, Nakamura and Cesaro, they just had bad luck. Nobody likes them, <laughs> sadly. We all love them. Nobody likes them. So, yeah, I picked Street Pop as Tag Team of the Year. <clears throat> now, Rivalry of the Year. Yeah, Rivalry of the Year. We have Seth Rollins versus the Mysterio family. Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton. Edge versus Randy Orton. Sasha versus Bayley. R-Truth versus The World. And WWE is super petty for this. Lana versus announce tables. First of all, you you're petty as hell. When Lana versus announce tables, you, what? what? <laughs> petty as hell for that. So take that out immediately. Our truth versus the world. Take that out immediately. That was oh god. <laughs> all right. Um. So take those out. We're here with these four. Sasha and Bailey, they they only have one. Well, they had technically two matches this year. So I don't really call that much of a rivalry. It didn't have a lot of length to it. I mean, all year we were trying to figure out when was who was going to turn on who. So I don't really call that much of a rivalry because they they broke up in what October no in September. So I don't know. I don't really. Nah, I don't call that much of a rivalry it's for this year. Um, Edge versus Orton. That was good. That was good. But I don't really... I can't... Nah. Drew McIntyre versus Orton was good in the beginning, but it got watered down as time went on. So, if we're talking personal... If we're talking personal... Seth versus the Mysterio family wins. They have to, cause that that rivalry that rivalry was crazy. Seth took Mysterio's eye, for God's sakes. He injured his eye, then he took his eye. So it's like both, like that's that's a lot. So I don't I don't know, um. But I pick yeah, Seth versus Mysterio's family. That's it's personal. That's, Ray's entire family went to it. Dominic had his first match, being involved in it. We saw Aaliyah. We saw Dominic and Ali and for the first time in a decade. <laughs> and Angie. We haven't seen Angie in a decade. So I was like, yo, like, come on. Seth Rollins was Missouri family. Rob Hell yeah. Alright, um, two more to go. So we got match of the year. This one might be tough. So we have The Undertaker versus AJ Styles, Boneyard match at WrestleMania. We have the New Day versus the Hurt Business. For the Tag Team Championships on Raw of November 16th. We have Edge versus Randy Orton in the greatest match ever at Backlash. Uh, the Men's Royal Rumble. Uh, AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental Championship on SmackDown in June. We have uh, Roman versus Jay. Roman versus Jay Uso for the Universal Championship Hell in a Cell I Quit match at Hell in a Cell. Uh, Sasha versus Bayley. For the SmackDown Women's Championship, Hell in a Cell. Uh, AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn versus Jeff Hardy, Intercontinental Championship, Triple Threat Ladder Match at Clash of Champions. Uh, Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns, Survivor Series, at Survivor Series. 
and Becky Lynch versus Asuka at the Royal Rumble. Now, the reason why I said this was hard is because three of these matches are hard to figure out. Maybe four. Well, no. Because the fourth one I was talking about was the Intercontinental Championship Triple Threat Ladder Match. I've, I've added that in there. But, um, yeah, I, I'll take that out. But these other three, I'm, 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 I'm torn between the Undertaker vs. AJ Styles Boneyard Match, Edge versus Randy Orton at Backlash, and AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan on SmackDown. I'm torn between those three. Because AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan on SmackDown was a classic. I wanted to make a video on that one, on that match too. Because that match was a classic. Woo! Woo! If they actually made the Intercontinental Championship super relevant, add that match to it. Actually, hell yeah. They have to. That was a hell of a match. But then you're talking Undertaker versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania. That was Undertaker's final match. And it was the best, and that was the best way to go out. Like, damn, that was a good match. But then Edge versus Randy Orton. I mean, it wasn't the greatest match ever, but either way, they, they tore the house down with that joint. Because that whole big view was trash until their main event. So it's like, damn. <laughs> but I think because of voting, I think Undertaker was A Styles going to win. It has to. It makes too much sense. Um, for me, I don't know. I probably picked that too. I probably picked on Jacob's Age of Styles. Um, off the off face off off name alone. So yeah, off name alone. Um, Edge versus Orton. That I still call that one of the best matches I've ever seen. I've seen a lot of matches in my time, but that was one of the best matches I've ever seen. Um, and AJ versus Daniel Bryan, that has to be one of the greatest Intercontinental Championship matches ever. It has to be. Or if not, if if it ain't ever, it's got to be one of. That was a. But um, match of the year, I think it was the Undertaker versus AJ Styles. All right, so final category is Superstar of the Year. Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Braun Strowman, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt, Asuka, Sasha, Becky, Bailey, and Charlotte. So pretty much the raw, the male superstar of the year and the female superstar of the year put together. And who you think out of all of them had was superstar of the year. And once again, superstar of the year, I think goes to no none other than Drew McIntyre. Because Drew McIntyre's had the best year out of both men and women. Like, it's, there's no debate. He walked into 2020. He hasn't lost a match since last year. Until he lost that match against Randy Orton in October. But since then, he never lost a match. So, for me, personally, Drew McIntyre wins Superstar of the Year. Has to. Two-time WWE Champion is here as well. Two times? Like... I'm I'm, pick, I'm picking Drew McIntyre. There's nobody else I'm picking. It's Drew McIntyre. Completely. Period. So yeah, um, so yeah, those are my uh, Slammy. Those are the nominees, the categories, and these, and those are the people that I picked to win. Simple. Uh, so yeah, that's that. So uh, it's been Rose, man. Thanks for watching. Thank you for all the love and support as always on our journey. We're finally on that journey to one K. I can't wait. So until next time, peace, love, one. Yeah.